So really excited, I've just been joined by Paul from Sigma, who's gonna be showing us some of the lenses that Sigma have just announced last month, was it? Not even the CP Plus, a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, a few weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with this absolute beast. What is this, Paul? It's my new favorite lens, this one is. It's a 105 f1.4. 105 f1.4? Yeah, it's okay. a beast. Let's it's, have uh, a look at that glass at the front. It, Let's just get my hand there, just so that you can get a nice of scale. That's huge. Yeah, no, it's got, it's got 105 mil front element, and there's a big chunk of glass. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it falls into the art range, which, as you know, is pretty much no compromise image yeah. quality. It's all about image quality, uh, and this is no exception. So it's a big lump of glass. It's a very, very big lens, um, but the reason is the peripheral brightness around the edges of the image is very high, so it's, so it's less vignetting. But also what that does is, you know when you're taking pictures with really smooth bokeh and you get all these light points which you want really round, perfectly round? Often with a long lens from 100mm, 200mm, 300mm, that round shape becomes pear shaped if there's vignetting. So what this does, it reduces the vignetting which also rounds the, the points of light sources in the background. Yep. So it's kind of thinking ahead and trying to solve lots of problems all in one go. But so 105, 1.4, we're looking at portrait photography, right? Yeah, with that. On for portraits, yeah. Yeah, I can, see, yeah. I can also see actually on a sort of prop sensor on APS-C, that's probably a, starting to be a nice lens for wildlife probably as well. It could be, 160 mil, yeah, around there. So it starts to become a nice sort of short telephoto. Or sports work as well. Sometimes you don't need a 500 mil. Tennis, things like that, I yeah. guess, where yeah, you're a little bit closer. Good, yeah. So I want to have a go with this, but I'm guessing, given that it's a bit early yet that we can't really actually show that working. Yeah, this is just a pre-production sample, okay. so we can't put it on a camera and take pictures with it yet. We're um, hopefully nearly there. Yeah, okay. sorry. <laughs> we haven't got pricing or delivery dates yet. We're so still waiting. No today. pricing or so. But uh, have you got a have you got a rough date when you think it's going to be launched? We haven't got a rough date. No, not yet. We'll we'll keep you posted. We'll let you know. How on, we right, find uh, What we look we looking at next month, two months, three months later this year. I would guess summer, a couple of months. A couple of months summer, time. I would think. So. Yeah, okay. So towards the summer, photographers will be able to get their hands. Sigma 105, 1.4. I am really looking forward to testing this one. Right, Paul, what else have we got down here? Right, the next one is the 14 to 24 f okay. 2.8 art lens. Yeah, uh, again, and it falls into the art range. We're going Canon Nikon fit again for this? This is Canon Nikon and our own Sigma mount. Okay. Yeah, yeah and this, uh, this will be great for landscape work. Um, has a. Sorry. Sorry. We've got the O-ring ceiling on the, the rear, and it uses a, an 80 millimeter aspherical front lens element. Whoa, yeah. and we're the only company in the world that can create such a, an element. We've designed all the tools which, which allow us to make this element, which is kind of crucial in having this sort of lens design. Nice that chunk. Is, uh, that's a really cool bit of glass. Yeah. So, like, it's like a glass, one of those glass kind of spheres that you hold up almost and get weird distortion and stuff through. Obviously, I'm sure it's distortion free, obviously, between 14 It is, and yeah. Actually, we've looked at the MTS and the distortion charts. It's unbelievable. It's really good. So, there we go. 50 megapixel resolution easily. Um, zero distortion, virtually. So. We've got 2.8 rather than F4, so... Yeah, we, we do a 12 to 24 F4, yep. uh, and now the 14 to 24 2.8. So the, the user's got a choice, depending on what's more important to them. 2 mil, which does make a difference. At, at this wide angle, or again the extra extra speed of the 2.8. Again, it's a it's a it's a big bit of glass. It you know the lens weighs weighs a bit, but I guess this is you know the 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 kind of compromise you have to have if you want that sort of really top image quality. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's a chunk of glass. It's when you're holding it like this, it's front heavy, but of course by the time you put a camera on there, it balances quite nicely. But it's the art range, so it's about image quality and getting the, the best you can. So. Real. Okay, yeah. right. And finally, and finally, a, uh, another art lens. This is a 70 mil 2.8 macro, cool. um, and it's it's obviously a very compact design. That's uh, that's the lens of there. It's the first SLR lens uh, we've produced with a focus by wire mechanism. So it's, uh, it's pretty different to the the other uh, lenses we have, which are all mechanical. And Canon Nikon again. Canon Nikon Sigma. Okay. No. This is a little bit different, actually. This is Canon 
Sigma and Soli E mount. Um, we haven't got this uh, in the, the, the Nikon mount and because of the focus by wire system. So the usability is not quite so good with, with Nikon cameras on that. So but the Sony E mount is becoming more and more popular. Of course. So this, the 105mm, is available in Sony E. And at the same time as announcing these new products, we announced seven of our prime art lenses, 1.4 and 1.8 lenses, also available in Sony E. So we're getting a lot of interest in that, and they'll be available throughout the year. Um, of course, a lot's going on with Sigma. Anything else you can on. tell me about everything? Being kept under wraps currently? Uh, new products, no. Um, okay, but we can see some more lenses from you guys later in the year, no doubt. Well, we it's Photokina. Photokina so. coming up in September, so I'm sure okay, there'll so be we'll look some, some new, things, new things coming out then. Well, that's great. Can't wait to test all of these. We'll be testing them on the channel in the next couple of months as soon as they become available. So, Paul, thank you very much thank for you. your time. No great problem. tech. Thank you. See you soon. Okay.